Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk about items uh, or souvenirs or pasal lubong that I got from my cousin. I have my cousin uh, and her son visiting me right now and I just wanted to share with you what she brought back. Um, probably start off with the most important item that I wanted and these are all herbal teas. So if you're in the Philippines and you are familiar with the herbal tea called pito pito and their ingredients in that concoction so I wanted her to get that but she couldn't and so I ended up just asking her to get uh, any of the available herbal teas in that list so I've got here a few items all right let's probably start off with the banaba tea so this is from golden spoon and this is what the packaging looks like they're more like an, an antioxidant but specifically banaba leaves are for banaba leaf is anti-diabetic it promotes weight loss it's an antioxidant anti-inflammatory antiviral antibacterial may help prevent cancer may improve heart health may help prevent liver disease and um, yeah and so there's a lot of benefits in using banaba tea i think this is a plant that is native to the philippines other brand that makes banaba tea that company is called san rafael and this is what the packaging looks like this one's got 16 tea bags golden spoon's got like 12 tea bags let me just open this um san rafael one and show you what what it looks like each tea bag is uh it's so individually wrapped in plastic i think it's just a to me it's a waste of packaging but anyway that's how they like all of these all of these herbal teas from the philippines are packaged this way drinking some of this already um in particular this brand from san rafael and i'm pretty sure they'll probably taste i'm sure it'll taste the same but this one's quite light it's not bitter at all so it's easy and light to drink the next uh, herbal tea is called lagundi and again golden spoon makes lagundi herbal tea it says here premium all right so that's what the packaging looks like okay let me just organize myself that's got 20 tea bags traditionally known to cure cough and relieve asthma also prevents fever caused by cold and flu lagundi also aids in relieving pain from headache and toothache okay that's good to know <laughs> i've just been drinking this as well and they it's same as the banaba it's not it's not very strong it's still a very light uh, light to medium tea and so when I drink herbal teas like this I don't add anything or I don't add any sweetener at all and that's how I like to drink them when I do that I'm training my palate to drink teas and when they're bitter it's okay but I'm pretty sure it says here that you can add a sweetener if you want to but I'd rather not I like my tea to be unadulterated just hot water and that would be it I've got like two brands of Lagundi here so one is from Golden Spoon is a from San Rafael so I have a couple of San Rafael brand in like 10 bags in a box that and this one and the last tea from golden spoon and this is called sambong tea is that how you pronounce sambong this one is really bitter i am so i'm keen i've tried it i haven't tried it with agave syrup but i think the next time that i will have this tea i will definitely have agave, agave syrup this wasn't in the list of the pito pito tea leaves uh it wasn't there but it looks like it's a plant that is native to the philippines and so i said yeah okay just but just get me one box and i'll try all right it's good for treating diarrhea and stomach problems treating hypertension detoxify the body treating fever cough good to relieve pain due to menstruation treating a sore th throat destroy kidney stones prevent diseases caused by bacteria so an anti-cancer it's pretty much i mean most herbal teas do 
I think in general they are antioxidant so compared to the Banaba and Lagundi this is very bitter if you are not a herbal tea drinker you, you probably won't like the taste of this but it look, from what I've read on Google uh, it, it looks like it just got a lot of benefits in having this tea because it's the same company that produces the Banaba and Lagundi so it's packaged the same wrapped in plastic and oh all right okay I've, I think I've already used up I think five of this one highly recommend I think commentary on herbal teas is that I think the more local or the more native the herbal is the better As I am Filipina I I don't have access to these herbal teas easily I have to really either buy them online or really import it but if you're in the Philippines I think these are the things that it's good for you to try because they are locally made and available. You can easily just get it anywhere. These are the things I can't easily find in Australia. Even if I go to a Filipino store here in Melbourne, they'll probably have very limited herbal tea collection. But been going back to having more herbal teas or drinking more herbal teas recently, I've um, somehow cut down or not not essentially quick coffee but I've cut down on my consumption of coffee because I want to go back to a more natural herbal uh, drink so the next item is dried mangoes I'm sure that Philippines has got the best mangoes in the world and so all our dried mangoes would probably be the best in the world in my previous videos i had holes from the philippines before like snacky items and i know i brought a lot of dried mangoes with the brand uh from cebu I'll show you now what i've got uh, first one is called the philippine brand dried mangoes okay so it's in a fancy packaging so that's what the packaging looks like manufactured by pro food international corp is in 200 grams look at the picture and i really want to have a taste of this but the next item i'm just grabbing this as i go it's gonna come here and then the next brand this is this is the cebu philippines dried mangoes and this is what the packaging looks like this one is also produced by Pro Food International Corporation. The problem with me is once I open it, I'll never like I'll have to finish it in one sitting, and that's that's a real problem. But they are the best ones. So, or these are all manufactured by the by one company, the Pro Food International Corp. This is the third product, and it's just a different packaging. And then the next packaging is the green mangoes tried green mangoes I like the normal yellow mango this it's a small pack, packet anyway it's just 100 grams maybe this is the one I'll try today the last snacky item actually I'm not allowed to have this but then because it's processed food and it's very salty uh, I'm gonna have allergies if I keep eating a lot of this but uh, the boy bawang corny packaging looks like this is 100 grams I had to do my finals uh, and study and I've been eating some of this which is really bad so bad but it's good it tastes so good but then because of the ingredients and because it's processed it's so bad for me uh, it's one of those things once you open you just have to finish it because that's how it is I have here three different flavors chili cheese barbecue lechon manok I mean I'll eat it <laughs> And cornic is fried corn bits and so that's probably it and if you're in the Philippines these are all great snacky items and then the herbal tea is like great health um, options for you to have and so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you all for watching see you again next time cheers bye bye